Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Barry Salkis. In this channel, we talk about photography and filmmaking. In this video in particular, we're gonna talk about the flow state. Is my lens dirty? All right, much better, much cleaner. Okay, so um, I'm just waiting for my friend Christine. I'm sure she has something to say about this topic. She's a creative as well. You guys know her from the channel. We've done an episode before. I'm just gonna wait for her and then we're gonna have coffee together with her and we're gonna exchange our thoughts on this topic. So let's get it. Okay, good coffee. Hi, cheers. Hello. You guys remember Christine? Amazing editorial photographer, amazing oh, model. You. Oh, thank you. So she's got uh, quite a few stuff to say about the creative, the, the flow state, if you will. Um, what would you like to say about the flow state? Of the flow state, yes. um, which is a real state. Um, uh, music helps me. Also, believe it or not, um, driving in places that I've never been before. I like that, yes. I'll get like a thought, like, like I'll see like a tree and then like think of something. And then that will like bring me to another thought Ooh. and then another thought and it just keeps going so I would say driving and music get me into that state and a clean place like I like I need to have like a tidy area yeah not a lot of you know mess and clutter Cluster, around yeah, me yeah. I, th yeah, I yeah. think that's another um, factor as well yeah good well that was Christine's thoughts we'll get home and we'll continue with the rest So welcome to the studio. I wanted to kind of do this on one-on-one -on -one with you guys rather than vlogging outside because this is a sensitive topic for me and I do want to dive deep into the flow state. Now to start with, let's look at flow state. What is flow state? Flow state is basically giving all of your attention and involvement to a specific activity. As a photographer, filmmaker, you could be in this moment when you're editing your film or editing your photos or when you're actually out on the streets taking street photography, you could get into a flow. Sometimes I even get into a flow while washing dishes. I get lost in what I'm doing and all I'm thinking of is the activity that I'm doing and it just disconnects me from everything else. It's an amazing feeling and apparently the research is are actually saying that humans are happiest in the flow state and I agree with that I'm really happy when I'm in a flow state I'm more creative I'm more productive it's like life hack but in order to get into the flow state there are some things that you need to do for me in order to get into the flow state I like to pick a task that is easy for me to do well let's not say easy but comfortable Right? I feel like when I'm challenging myself to learn something new, I'm kind of busy understanding the, the concept, so I don't really get into the flow state. I'm, I'm in a learning state or annoyed state, right? But if it's something that I'm comfortable with, I easily get into the flow. It helps me when I'm creating. And when I'm in flow, if I get a random text or something and I just look at my phone, that totally breaks down. If I go on the phone and check the text, I'm probably gonna end up on Instagram doing scrolling, you know, consuming content. That's not really what I wanna do when I'm in the flow. When I'm in the flow, I wanna disconnect from everything else. So I disconnect from my phone. I make sure to leave my phone on silent. That way I'm 100% present in the flow. So choose a task that you are comfortable with and disconnect from electronics, cell phone, social media, and all those distracting things. And when I'm in flow, I like to know where the end goal is. So I make sure that my, my finish line or what I'm aiming at is nice and clear. Like if it's to, to wash the dishes, I think about that, right? I'm constantly making moves like a machine trying to wash the dishes so that I can get to the end line. So same thing with editing photos. Like I need to get 30 edits done today. So I'm gonna think of the 30 edits and it's a clear achievable goal that really helps me to get into the flow state, right? Because I know the end goal. Also like your surroundings, the place that you work in, your studio, office, your bedroom is really important in in the creative process, which ties into the flow state. I'll be honest with you, if you are not happy in your working space and if you're not comfortable, if it's not, you know, motivating you, don't worry about buying that lens. Go spend some money on furniture, go design the place as you wish so that when you step in there, 
you feel good, you feel present. The place that you work in should essentially be like your sanctuary, right? So make sure to build a place that you are happy to be in. That way you feed off the environment and then you get into a creative state. I really wanna do a separate video about making your place feel like it's your own, but that's another topic. But with the flow state, it's also important to feel present in the place that you are. So make sure it's nice and neat, or if you like the cluster, make it cluster it, you know, like Christine said, she likes nice and clean environments, right? So that's it. You know, in this channel, I talk about photography and filmmaking, but I think that most of what we do as filmmakers, photographers, actually happens behind the scenes. So it's really, like to me, it's really not about the cameras that I use, it's always about how I feel and if I'm even feeling creative that day. You know, in terms of putting myself in the right mood, I am mastering that slowly. So I do wanna talk about these things on this channel, as well as making more cinematic film sort of videos. Um, I know like I talked to some of you on Instagram and that, you know, some of you want to see more cinematic stuff. Now, the thing with that is, I, that's exactly what I wanna do in this channel, but at the same time, it's really not that easy to make all these short films or cinematic films consistently. I, I can't be producing those heavy videos once or twice a week, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna probably like sprinkle like one each month and then the rest of the videos will be kind of like this or random vlogs. But as far as the cinematic stuff, there's like amazing stuff coming. So make sure to stick to the channel for those. I like to do stuff to enhance my creativity rather than, you know, just talk about gear all the time. There's gonna be time and place for that, but I really wanna sprinkle these kind of videos in there as well. If you did make it to the end, thank you all so much. Goodbye. Smile.